Hey you guys, welcome back to Arise. My name is Candy Nicole and today is Deep Soul Healing Wednesdays here at Arise. Every Wednesday the Lord has brought up a subject with me that we are going to discuss. He wants you to go deeper into the subject with him in your private time. And today we are speaking about people pleasing. This will be a topic that we will continuously bring up. I will be calling it People Pleasing University Dropout. This is part one, but there will be several parts because in the past seasons, one thing many of you did was people please. And the Lord wants us to come out of agreement with that. It is okay to be a servant. It is okay to be caring and loving towards people. But people pleasing is different than just being a caring, loving servant. It means that you will shrink yourself in order to please other people. It means that you put yourself aside in order to please other people. And the Lord does not want you doing that. So it says in Matthew 5:15, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all of the house. Why are you trying to diminish your light, child of God? It is not a possibility. A lamp is made for a particular reason. It's made for the light to shine. And many of you in past seasons had a problem with your light shining. You would see that other people would get uncomfortable whenever your light would shine. So you would try to put a dimmer on your light. The Lord does not want you doing that moving forward. There's a reason why you shine so bright. And people who cannot accept that, that is their problem and their issues in which they need to work through. But people who do accept it is the type of people that you want in your life and to move forward with. So the Lord is wanting you to take observations of whenever you begin to do this and to stop, okay? The Lord is wanting you to walk in your full power and authority in the season that you are walking into. So he gave me this message last week regarding people pleasing university dropout and the word for today. But it just so happens that the word that I am reading today in my private time with the Lord matches so perfectly with this message. And so today I'm going to be reading out of Mark chapter 2. And in the beginning of chapter 2, it speaks about how Jesus has just entered into a new city. And people are gathering all around trying to get near him, okay? And then there's this paralyzed man that could not get near him because the crowds were so big all around him. And Jesus was in someone's home. And they literally removed the top of the roof in order to lower the paralyzed man down to Jesus. All right. So I'm going to start in verse 5. It says, when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, son, your sins are forgiven. Now, some of the teachers of the law were sitting there thinking to themselves, why does this fellow talk like that? He is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Immediately, Jesus knew in his spirit that this is what they were thinking in their hearts. And he said to them, why are you thinking these things? Which is easier to say to the paralyzed man? Your sins are forgiven or say, get up and take your mat and walk. But I want you to know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. He got up and took his mat and walked out in full view of them all. This amazed everyone, and they praised God, saying, We've never seen anything like this. What I loved about this passage is how Jesus walked in his full power and authority. He never shrunk down to the Pharisees and the things that they would say. Like, how dare him? That is blasphemy. Jesus knew that he was the Son of God. He understood his power and authority here on earth. And despite what other people thought, he never shrunk back. And the Lord is wanting you to walk in that same power and authority of knowing who you are as a child of God. There are certain things that are inside of you, child of God, and the Lord wants you to be okay with shining bright walking in your full power and authority in the season that you are walking into. This is not a time for shrinking back anymore. Anyone that has a problem with you and your light shining fully is probably not someone that you should be in the company of. 
So in this season, the Lord wants you to stop shrinking back and be okay with being who you truly are and letting your authentic light shine forth. There's a blog post that is attached to today's word. Every Wednesday on Deep Soul Healing Wednesdays, there's going to be a blog post on CandyNicoleArise.com that goes along with the word. And on the blog, there are steps that can help you to move forward with being okay with allowing your light to shine wherever it is that you may go. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk with you soon. Bye y'all.